Hey everybody. Hey look, uh, man, I'm just so full of the joy of the Lord right now. I am here at the uh, Hillview Kroger on the corner of Mud Lane and Ant I think it's called Antle Drive. Uh, so I'm walking away from the store. Uh, we're going out with our church today. I'm uh, advertising uh, for our uh, Easter services and uh, you know, it's um, uh, you know, in our healing service coming up, you know, Jesus is alive. We want to spread the good news of the peace and hope of the Lord and, uh, you know, just be a blessing to the community and so forth. I'm over here at the, uh, I I'll tell you what, we've gone all throughout all these shops around Hillview and, um, you know, the over in this area. Uh, I mean, tractor supply from the Dollar General tractor supply all the way down to the uh, Papa Murphy's Dollar General all up and down this little strip area. And, uh, in the uh, I, the smoke shop, the Indian owned, uh, the Hindu owned uh, smoke shop, and uh, the liquor store and the Buddhist nail salon, like all these places, they're like, oh yeah, sure, you can set flyers down on our counter, we'll put them out for you. You know, that's great. But I walk into the Kroger at Hillview. Go back on here. Okay. All right, hop back up. Yeah, we're planting the seeds, brother. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So uh, I don't know what happened. It, it went off there for a second. Um, but here's what so <laughs> we uh we we've gone into like i said all these different shops i mean even the the buddhist nail salon uh the i mean they got a big buddha as soon as you walk in right there uh the uh the, the hindu owned uh, liquor store and the smoke shop right next door to it uh you know they all let us put up our our flyers advertising that you know he is risen you know and for our healing service coming this friday uh, for Good Fridays, because Isaiah 53 5 says that by his stripes we are healed. Amen. And so, you know, we want to invite you to come out to that. But, man, this blew me away. I couldn't believe it. I walk over here to the, the Hillview Kroger. Okay, the Kroger at Hillview is what it says on the sign out there. Uh, let me flip my camera around so you see where I'm at right here. The, the Kroger at Hillview. All right. Uh, and so. Uh, I, even these other shops, like the, the Chinese restaurant, uh, the pips, let me put some in there. Um, and, but I walk in and say, hey, uh, uh, you know, up to the customer service counter. And, you know, just trying to be polite and up front, you know, not trying to do nothing shady. And so I walk in because, you know, it's, it's their it's their place. So I want to honor the, the authority of the house, right? And so, you know, we go in and... Uh, I say, hey, uh, at the customer service, I say, hey, can, uh, I was just wondering if I could stand out front and pass out some flyers and, and give people free water. And, and they said, well, who are you with? I said, well, it's with my church. Uh, I said, you know, I'm one of the pastors there. And we, there's a big Christian holiday coming up. And, we, you know, we just want to invite people in case they want to visit. And she said, well, let me call my manager. She called the manager on the radio. And she said, hey, there's a guy here with his church who wants to pass out flyers out front. And he said, Right on the radio, he just goes, no. Just like that, he just goes, no. And then she answers me, she says, well, he said no. <laughs> and I said, well, so is there, like, I said, I, what do you got to do to, uh, you know, to be able to do that? Because I see, like, sometimes there's people set up with tables and, like, sell things out there. I just want to give stuff away for free, you know. And she said, well, I know they do it, like, with organizations, but not with, well, I don't know really how to say it. And I said, well, hey, can you find out? Like, how, how do I find out what the rules are, you know, on how I can get in on that? And she said, well, I have to call. Um, and so he said, so the, the Ryan, the manager here at the Kroger, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I mean, that's just his name. Uh, but he walks out and uh, he says, no, you can't do that. And I said, well, hey, I said, well, I, that's okay. What do, but what do I have to do to be able to do it? He said, we only do it with Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts okay so like is there is there like a uh, like is it written down somewhere or like is it in your policy or something on i mean i just want to know and uh i mean he gave me the number to the regional office but anyway so my takeaway from this is that the uh, uh the buddhist nail salon in hillview uh the the indian hindu owned uh uh liquor store and and a smoke shop, the Great Clips, the Chinese restaurant, the Penn Station, all these places. I mean, um, the the Dollar Generals. I mean, all these all these other different shops. Let, like even letting us set these on their own counter. 
and you know, like say, oh, you're happy to do it, right? But then I come into a Kroger, and they said, no, we only allow Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts to sell their goods out front. We won't allow you to give away the free gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm just saying that's a fact, okay? So uh, you can draw your own conclusions there. Draw your own conclusions. But, you know, that's what happened today. So, God be praised. I want you to come out this Friday. If you have sickness or disease in your body, in your mind, uh, in your spirit, in your soul, Jesus is a healer. He never stops healing. Okay? Uh, even in, I don't know if you can still hear me with all this wind going on or not. But she, even man, look at this. The Reformation has never stopped. Okay. Uh, even uh, I mean, you you say you don't believe in healing today. Guess what? Even Martin Luther healed people. Okay, through his ministry. All right. The the, the workings of the Spirit has never stopped. All right. Uh, God is still God. Jesus is still the same today, yesterday, and forever. He is a healer. He has been a healer, and He will heal you. He will heal you. He will make you completely whole. You know, that's what salvation means. That's what salvation means. To be made completely whole. Made completely whole. Amen. So, uh, you know, God wants you to be completely whole. But there's only one way for that for complete wholeness to happen. That's for you to come and come here with you. Amen. So, just repent of your sins, surrender, try to do things on your own, and just come to Him, believe His gospel, and receive His benefits. Because He, when you surrender to God, He gives you all of Him. When you give your all of yourself to Jesus, He gives you all of Him. All right. Now there's some reason why some people don't see the manifestation of some of these benefits of God. And I will be uh, teaching a little bit about, we're going to have a short teaching on that Friday night, um, but we're going to have uh, a heavy focus on uh, altar time, on, on prayer ministry. And so uh, be sure to, to come to that. Okay, we're going to have other uh, multiple churches coming together. So it's a good Friday service. We want people to uh, to attend that. Uh, bring your sick, bring your lame. God's going to work miracles. Okay, He's already been doing that. He's never stopped doing that. Okay, it's just the, the only, even Jesus Himself could not perform certain miracles in His hometown because the people thought that they had received, that they already had the fullness of the knowledge of Him. Okay, they said, well, He's just that little, boy, that little carpenter's boy. And, you know, so there's no way He can be doing all this. And so He, even the Son of God Himself, Fully God and fully man in the flesh was not able to do many mighty works and in his own hometown because the people because of their unbelief. Okay, so that is what stops people from being saved. That's what stops people from being healed. That's what stops people from being delivered. Uh, you know, it's uh, from from continuing in poverty and lack. It's your own unbelief. Okay, that's what hinders the move of God is your own unbelief. But those who come to Him will surely find Him when they seek Him with all of their heart. Okay? That's what He said. You will. You will. It's, it is the promise of the Word of God. You will find Me when you seek for Me with all your heart. And there's many more, precious, more sure and precious promises, my friend, in this new covenant, in the new covenant that we have. It is a better covenant. This is the better covenant with with better promises. And if healing was available in the old covenant, and now this is the everlasting covenant, hey, guess what? Healing and miracles, it's all going to continue until we come to the perfect unity of the maturity and the stature of the fullness of Christ on the day of redemption at the resurrection when there will be no need of healing. Okay? But as a, but right now, there is still a need for healing. There's still a need for people to be saved. So Jesus is still saving. If Jesus is still saving souls, He is still healing bodies. He is still delivering 
souls, okay, still delivering your mind from strongholds, okay? And so if everything is received as a gift of His grace activated through your faith, okay? And even your faith is a gift from God. How do you get faith? Faith comes by hearing the Word. And so when you hear the Word of God, you receive faith. Now, here's, here's an issue. See, some people have a hearing problem, okay? Some people have a hearing problem, and then other people just refuse to listen. I got some kids like that on, on my school bus. Some people have a hearing. I, I asked the kid, I said, hey, man, why, why can't you, why can't you, uh, you know, uh, heed the instructions of what you're supposed to do? You know, I, I like, do you have trouble hearing, or are you just not listening? And that's that's a lot of people's issues. Okay, they either they have a hearing problem, or they refuse to listen. Okay, so if today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Okay, so just receive the blessing of the Word of God. Amen. Jesus, He who knew no sin became sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. And now, as He is, so are we in this world. Okay. And so we are joint heirs with him. And so if, hey, come on, man. Yes, sir. Come on, Jacob. Praise God. Amen, Eddie. Yes, sir. I know. I know the. I know the. Uh, I know the Mount Washington Kroger is not opposed to the gospel, but I just thought it was weird. They wouldn't. They, they said, no, you're not allowed to stand out front and give stuff away for free. Now they'll let the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts sell things out on the corner, but they said. But they said. No, you cannot share. You cannot freely give away good news to people out front. Uh, and so I'm just saying that's what they told me. It's, and they gave me the number to the regional office. I might, um, you know, I don't know if I want to make a big fuss about it or not. We'll see. Uh, but I, that's just a fact of what happened. Pastor Steve, we got Pastor Steve right here from uh, from Faithlift Church with me as well. And uh, so I I just went. Now look at this: the Buddhist nail salon, the Hindu owned. Uh, liquor store and smoke shop. Right. Let me set these flyers inside, and they said, "Oh yeah, come on, we'll do that." And then the Chinese restaurant, the Penn Station, all that. But the Kroger, what, they said, they said, "No, you can't do that." And they don't want you outside giving it out either. That's what. Yeah, that's what. It is. That's what I said. Hey, can I just say? I, and, and, I mean, it's the whole. I'm telling the whole story here. Well, what have you? What, what have you come across so far today? Pretty much the same thing. I mean, you know, going into Kroger trying to greet people as they're coming out you know the people are receptive the man is not receptive you know and it, it just doesn't make sense when what we're sharing is is good news mm -hmm. resurrection sunday heal and service you know we're letting people know the good news of god so you know it's a shame that you know you've got a christian uh people that aren't you know allowed or, or the management won't let you give them that good news you know yeah and that's what we're about and you know i even i even walked in to the to the the hindu uh smoke shop mm -hmm. and i said hey i said can we set these advertisements on your counter i said there's a christian holiday coming up and we think maybe some people might want to visit and they said oh yeah sure go ahead wow. so i was very bold up front just straight up that's how i'm saying it to people i say hey we got a christian holiday coming up we're a church we want to you know invite people to come and visit and Everybody's been receptive except for some reason the Hillview Kroger said no you're not allowed to do that. Mm. So I mean I respect their authority. I'm not going to I'm not going to pass that but I'm uh, they didn't tell me I couldn't live stream and preach the gospel to my phone right, right here. So that's what I'm doing anyway. Yeah, walking yeah. around. Well, listen, I'm Amen. Uh, I want to keep moving. Amen. Through. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right. Well you all look we're going we're going to get back on uh, on the on the streets here. But I just want you to know, okay, Jesus is Lord. He will always be Lord. He is a Savior. He is a healer. He is a deliverer. Okay? He whom the Son sets free shall be, is, shall be free indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But first, the truth might make you a little mad if you're stuck in your the bondage of your uh, traditional religion. Okay? So anyway, be set free. Hear the Word of God. Alright? Hear the Word of God and be set free by faith. Okay? through faith alone, by grace alone, in Christ alone, according to Scripture alone, and not the traditions of men. God bless you. Love you. Bye.